There's a huge amount going on at the moment in Durham City with hundreds of millions of pounds of inward investment coming in to regenerate uh, the uh, centre of Durham City by the riverside. We've got uh, the River Walk development, including the new Odeon Cinema, recently opened, uh, already very successful. Uh, we've now got the Milburn Gate uh, development behind us, also starting uh, with hundreds of millions of pounds coming in uh, into new office, retail, uh, some new accommodation as well. Uh, and uh, with all this happening, we have to remember as well, there's a lot going on outside Durham City and all of this is helping regeneration, helping jobs and helping the economy grow, which is what we need to be seeing in County Durham. We're also seeing uh, a large amount of investment by the University in Durham, uh, which is planning a number of new developments of up to a billion pounds of investment, uh, and uh, also up the hill, uh, Akeley Heads uh, as a site uh, could well attract up to 6,000 jobs uh, once that site is cleared. Uh, and that's a very exciting development, again, to bring in uh, some hopefully larger companies to bring new jobs to Durham and these jobs are really needed here we need to diversify our economy we need to bring high quality skilled jobs to County Durham uh, it boosts the economy uh, it means our young people are much more likely to stay here and it builds our uh, economy it builds our uh, affluence across the whole county uh, and everybody benefits not just people in Durham City but people from right across the county uh, who come into these jobs such as those uh, at the National Savings and the Passport Office behind us uh, where jobs moved across the river uh, into smaller uh, more fit for purpose accommodation uh, and uh, people commute to those jobs from right across the county. Uh, we need to see more jobs here and it's really exciting to see these developments underway. So across the county we've got a number of developments going on. Integra 61 next to Junction 61 of the A1 uh, is a very large site uh, which again will bring several thousand jobs uh, when that is completed. Uh, transport improvements are also about to be underway uh, on that junction of the A1 to improve access, which is really important. That is a very large development. Uh, we've got developments at Forest Park, uh, uh, part, part of Acliffe Business Park uh, near the Hitachi site, which again are very exciting uh, in what is already the northeast largest business park. Uh, we've got uh, further expansion of Net Park, uh, obviously in terms of uh, high-end new technology jobs. We've got Jade in the east of the county off the A19. Uh, again, uh, we've got imminent development on that site, uh, which will again bring uh, large numbers of high-skilled quality jobs to County Durham. So there's a lot going on, not just here in Durham City, but right across County Durham. I think one of the key things about County Durham is the quality of life. Uh, now, uh, whether that is uh, the open air, the spaces that we have, uh, the fact that you can be uh, in the coast, uh, you can be out in the moors, the countryside very, very quickly. Uh, in general, we have far less traffic here than uh, in London, let's say, or other main cities, but also the advantages that we do have. We are next to important transport corridors. We've got the A1, we've got the East Coast Main Line, the A19, uh, key transport routes coming through uh, County Durham, which link us up uh, with other parts of the country and mean a, a big population is within easy reach uh, of locations here. I think the resources that we have here, uh, the environment that we have, uh, the people that make Durham so special. Uh, Durham powered by people uh, is our initiative moving forward which really uh, says uh, what's so key about County Durham, the fantastic workforce that's here on our doorstep and that we know is so important in the decision of companies and businesses to invest here.